okay well if any of you guys watched yesterday's video you know about the walker mishap right now it appears that it's not leaking it's the one over on that side i don't know how well that picture showed it yesterday so i'm just going to show it to you now what i end up doing i thought i hit a chunk of steel like culvert and what i end up doing was not let me get some light in here um after looking at it better when I was taking it apart, what it turned out to be was the front of the deck was smashed in in a small spot in that front corner. And um, that's a brand new shell I just replaced last year, if you guys remember. So what I must have done is hit that chunk of steel. It bent that deck and the blade started hitting the deck and it snapped the two shear bolts on the blade, but it did not snap the shear pin on the shaft and i didn't get it shut down in time and i got hung up on there so it ended up destroying this is see you can see it's separated right there it's obviously supposed to be all one piece it completely snapped it apart all the way around So I went out to my dealer, which they thought that they had had one. Turns out they did not have one. They had the new heavy duty cast iron ones for the reverse rotation decks. Mine's a standard rotation for the reverse rotation decks, so they wouldn't fit mine. But they do have a pallet of them in the shop where, I've showed a video before where they have a, a Walker graveyard, <laughs> all old machines, that some of them they rebuild. Anyway, when the decks are shot, they take the good parts off the deck and they just throw them on the shelf. So they had a used one on the shelf, and uh, we messed around with a few of them, and the one I grabbed felt really smooth. It felt like it was real nice. The seals looked good, everything in good shape. So um, he said, here, just take it. So I just took it, and I came home, and I ripped the other one apart last night, put it on, um, and I ran it for a little while in the driveway everything seemed fine no noises no clinks clangs nothing and um, everything sounded really smooth so no leaks and I just checked this morning no leaks so we'll find out today as the day goes on I wanna know your secrets I wanna be your lifeline So I wait for you, wait for me Wait for you, wait for me Tell me you're more than just a highlight Pretty pictures on the outside I hate to stare at you through these lights So I wait for you, wait for me Wait for you, wait for me Click and scroll, I can't let you go They say I'm addicted to you Click and scroll, I can't let you go They say I'm addicted to you Oh, oh, this ain't love, no, no This ain't love, no, no This is artificial so all in all this more was doing a really good job today it uh no issues at all the deck sounded great i never had an issue with cut it cut just as great as it always has i checked it a couple times throughout the day no leaks on top of the deck no leaks below the deck uh that gearbox seems to be holding up so hopefully it'll go the long haul and i won't have to buy a brand new one anytime soon it uh it, de it definitely just did everything that i needed to do and i'm very thankful for my dealership um as far as walker mowers i use middleport tractor um they're my dealer hands down they're the best in my area there are a couple other walker dealers in my area that you know one i've never been to the other one i refuse to work with and 
you know, these guys are just great, and this is just one more reason why. They did what they had to do to get me up and running. You know, they could have just said, oh, sorry, we don't have one for you. You know, we'll have to order one. It'll be a couple days, and I'd be shit out of luck. But, it, you know, it's not that way with them. They do what they have to do to get me up and running, and that's all they care about. They care about customer service, and they care about taking care of their people. And, you know, that's exactly what they did. They, they took the time to walk through the back and... You know, they said, if you don't mind a used one, I have one for you. You know, hopefully it works. There's no guarantee. I don't know if it will, but at least you can try it to, to see what will happen and to see if it can get you up and going. So, you know, they didn't have to do that by any means. And I know for sure that the other Walker dealer in my area would not have done that. And the other one, like I said, I've never even been to them, so I don't know. But uh, I stick with this dealer for a very good reason. I have my dealer um, that I deal with with my right. And, you know, that's why I bought that mower is because of the same type of customer service I get there. But as far as Walker, hands down, it's Middleport Tractor in Middleport, New York. And I refuse to deal with anybody else. Like a drug I keep on wanting There's a love that fits so perfect it's hard to believe There's a reason I can feel my heart stop beating And the air gets tough just breathing I'm alone but I'm still feeling I am just absolutely loving this mower. It is so much fun to ride. I'm definitely getting the hang of it. My lines are still a little squirrely, but you know, it, it'll all come in time. I'll get it down pat and get everything adjusted and get used to riding it. But what a phenomenal cut. This mower cuts great. Um, you'll see, this is just the first cut and this grass was probably six and a half, seven inches tall, real thick. This is the first cut of the season. It has already been fertilized twice and if you look off to the right, you'll see this is the house with the big hill. You guys have seen me mow this property with every mower I've ever owned, probably, in one video or another. But um, I cut it down, and then what I did in film is I went over it a second time. I intentionally cut it down to uh, two and three quarter inches, and I knew it was going to leave a lot of grass laying there. I did that on purpose. That's exactly what I wanted to do here because I figured I know this lawn, I know how thick it is, and I figured it'd be the perfect test spot to find out if it can clean grass. So what I did is I mowed it at two and three quarter, I raised it up two notches, the deck level, and it cleaned it right up. One pass over it that second time, cleaned it right up, it was good to go. Um, it just worked out perfect. So it definitely did what I wanted it to do, and that's the information I wanted to find out if it could clean up laying grass, and it definitely did. Chasing speed and gunning I'll be right there all of a sudden I feel Well the good news is It's all dry under here No leaks And it's all dry Well you can't see it Maybe if I take you this way It's all dry in there No leaks This baseball is really holding up well It's working good So all in all, great day of mowing um, it was really, really cold this morning. I was down along the lower Niagara River in the breeze. The wind was just coming off it. Plus it was like 45 degrees. So it was cold. I was wearing gloves in the beginning. I was wearing this sweatshirt plus the windbreaker over it. And it was definitely cold. But it definitely warmed up. I don't even know what it is now. It's like... It is... sixty four degrees so it definitely warmed up tomorrow's supposed to be a nice day too I think it's supposed to be almost 70 tomorrow with no rain and then it's supposed to rain all day Friday so all in all out of Monday Tuesday and Wednesday I've only skipped six lawns 
So that's definitely really good, uh, as saturated as I thought they were going to be. So I don't know, now they're calling for rain like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday next week. So that could really screw me. I hope it's not going to be one of them oversaturated springs. I'm just not ready to deal with another one of those. I want to get stuff done and get out there and get mowing. I'm loving that new Wright Sport X. That thing is awesome. It is leaving a phenomenal cut. Um, for those of you that are wondering, I know you, Johnny, have been wondering, can it clean up? Yes, it can. Um, I've mowed a few lawns where it's uh, seven, eight inches tall, wet, thick grass, and uh, cut it down to three or three and a quarter. And then I've just had to raise the deck up like two notches. So if I cut it at three, I'm raising it to three and a half, leaving the flap up and going over it and it's dispersing it no problem. Getting rid of it on the first, you know, the first run over it after I've already cut it. So it technically be the second cut, but um, I'm not having to do any third and fourth cuts to get rid of it, which is what I was, that was my big concern. Cause any mower that can do that, it'd be sold the next day. I just don't have time for it. So um, it's definitely doing the job and uh, I'm getting used to it, but I definitely like it. It's a fun mower to ride. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. I got beer to finish.